Hey guys, this is Abhinav and if you have always wondered how to buy a goddamn suit, I'm going to make things easy for you today with 5 easy rules to follow. First of all, what the heck is a suit? Well, to put it in simple terms, it is a pair of trousers and a jacket tailored of the same fabric. Yes, same, not similar. Do not try to pick a pair of trousers and a matching blazers. People in the know are going to notice. Now let us move on to the golden rules of picking the right one for you. Rule number one, check the fabric quality. If you have the budget for it, look for a suit that is 100% wool. It paves the way for versatility and is the right fabric for both midday heat and colder evenings. Wool gives a refined look and is wrinkle free to remain smart throughout the day. Because wool is an expensive fabric, you can also opt for blends such as 70, 50 or 30% wool. The higher the quantity of wool in the blend, better the quality. Rule 2. Fit is key. An inexpensive suit that fits well will look better than an expensive ill-fitted one. The key areas to keep in mind when looking at the fit are shoulder. Do not buy the suit if the shoulders are off. If you can fit two fists in front of the jacket, it is way too big. The sleeve should reach the wrist and the length should cover your buttocks. Anything longer than that is too long. Rule 3. Go for classics. When it comes to a suit, you want to buy something timeless. Don't chase trends. You want your suit to serve you not 6 months, but 6 years to come. When picking buttons, go for the classic 2 button suit. If you are taller, you can choose 3 button suit, but no more than that. As for lapels, your options are notch, peak and shawl. Peaks are more formal than notch and shawl is reserved for mostly black tie events. Rule 4. The Color When picking the color of your suit, Try to go for shades of brown or green or even maroon like the one I'm wearing right now. Stay away from black unless the suit is for a black tie event. You can also pick patterns on the suit instead of going for a solid color to make it more interesting. Rule 5. The Accompaniments Now that you have your suit in place, it is time for the right shirt and accessories. Light blue, pink and lavender are all acceptable colors for dress shirts. But a classic white is the best. It's the most formal, creates the highest contrast, and matches almost anything. A classic tie and formal shoe is your safest bet to style the suit. And those, my friends, are the five rules to picking the right suit. So tell me honestly, how many times have you had traditional day at college or Diwali at work and you've had to borrow a kurta from a friend because all you have in the name of Desi wear is the Sherwani you wore at your cousin's wedding. Guys, I cannot stress enough on how important it is for every man to curate an essential ethnic wear wardrobe. So you are ready for all those expected and unexpected occasions. Let me take you through the basics you need. First up is a classic black or white kurta. A kurta usually has a traditional Chinese collar or v-neck and can sometimes be collarless. The variety of fabrics you can choose from can be cotton, khadi, linen, or silk. A classic kurta hits right at your knee or few inches below it. The shorter hem kurtas can be worn with a salwar, while the longer or knee-length ones are best worn with churidar. Next on the list, a shorter version of the classic kurta. These are usually made of lightweight fabrics such as linen or cotton. These are best for more casual occasions and can be a cool pick for a weekend brunch or lunch. These are usually hip length and can be worn with distressed jeans and sneakers for a relaxed look. A short kurta also looks great with cotton or linen pants. The last item on my list is a Nehru jacket. It is a sleeveless, fitted, Chinese collared vest jacket of hip length. These are traditionally worn over kurtas. My tip to you would be to pick one in a solid jewel tone or a neutral hue such as beige, navy or ruby to get the most use out of your Nehru jacket. So these three basics can be the building blocks of your Desi wear wardrobe. A simple styling hack in order to elevate any look is layering. Hi, I'm Abhinav and today I will take you through essential layers every man should stock upon in his wardrobe. First on the list is a denim jacket. A denim jacket is a fantastic layer option to have at your disposal because of its sheer versatility. If you are getting a denim jacket for the first time, 
I would suggest going for a darker wash such as navy, black or indigo. My favorite part about the denim jacket is that it is flattering on all body types. Flannel shirt. Often ignored in many wardrobes, this is a relaxed weekend layer that is all season friendly. Flannels are usually plaid, check or gingham shirts that are chunkier and are used as a layer. You can layer this with ripped jeans and tee along with boots or sneakers. Linen jacket. For those smart casual occasions or a casual yet sleek daytime looks, consider adding a linen blazer to your wardrobe. Go for classic, neutral hues or pastel colors. For an effortlessly neat ensemble, pair your blazers with either dark wash jeans or chinos. Leather jacket. The last layer on the list is a fall staple, a solid leather jacket. Again, this is something that works on all body types, whether you're looking to add some bulk or you're looking to hide some bulge. When investing in your first leather jacket, pick a sturdy one, one that has a solid hardware. Go for a classic black or brown. Leather jackets are amazing with casual outfits. Just like all accessories such as sneakers and watches, bags are an essential part of a man's look too. Unlike the popular opinion that bags are meant for women, bags are necessary for men also. It is 2020 and it is high time we break such cliche stereotypes. I'm Abhinav and here are some basic bags you need in your wardrobe. The Backpack While this may be considered rather childish, with the resurgence of streetwear just like sneakers and baseball caps, backpacks are in style too. There are a variety of backpacks available in the market. You can pick one depending on your lifestyle. If you have a job which requires you to be in formal wear, you could choose a classy leather backpack. If your daily wear is chiller, then there are several fun printed options available in the market. A duffel bag. A duffel bag is roomy enough to carry your smelly gym wear, PlayStation or clothes for that weekend getaway. These usually come in fabrics such as leather, canvas or nylon. A zipper at the top offers extra security while internal pockets ensure you don't have to go burrowing for your keys. Don't discount a set of shoulder straps either. With the classic shopper style, you're never fully hands-free. A briefcase or a formal sling bag. I know, I know, a briefcase has a stereotypical boring image attached to it. However, it's smart, it's practical, and if you buy a good one, there's no reason it can't last you a lifetime. Plus, nothing ruins a smart suit look more than a backpack slung over your shoulder. Formal wear calls for a briefcase. Look for something with ample amount of storage and pockets for your laptop and laptop accessories such as charger, hard drive, etc. I hope this gives you guys a lesson on the importance of having the right bag for the right occasion. I will see you in another episode. Take care. For more fashion tips, subscribe the channel and press the bell icon.